Throughout the reign of French First Consul Napoleon Bonaparte, death was a constant companion. Whether on the battlefield or within the confines of Paris, numerous royalist and Catholic groups devised plots attempted to shorten his life. One of the most pronounced attempts was known dually as the plot of the Rue saint Nicaise and Machine Infernal Intrigue on Christmas Eve 1800. The phrase Machine Infernal was referenced by an explosive device employed during a 16th century revolt against Spanish rule in Belgium. Seven men plotted to detonate an explosive cart loaded with a filled gunpowder cask and various forms of shrapnel. The timing was scheduled to detonate as Bonaparte's carriage crossed paths. His wife Josephine accompanied him along with several members of his military staff. A cavalry escort preceded the carriage to their intended destination of the Opera House for a performance. Bonaparte reportedly fell asleep en route, suffering from a nightmare reliving his defeat at the Taglamento River by an Austrian army three years earlier. His driver, named Caesar, was reportedly intoxicated and passed the Rue saint noquais before entering the Rue de Faumont saint honore One of the plotters delayed signaling leader Pierre Robineau de saint Régent of the impending carriage arrival. saint Régent had earlier attempted to incite a revolt in western France and emphatically tore up Bonaparte's offer of amnesty. He lit the fuse, but the delay ultimately spared Bonaparte. The explosion wiped out buildings and killed five individuals while injuring 26 others. Bonaparte and Josephine were shaken but unscathed and continued their routing to the intended destination. Upon their arrival, they received a standing ovation from the audience, who had been notified of their brush with death. Apprehending the guilty parties, including the bomb creator, created an arduous police investigation. Four principal suspects would be tried and condemned to death by guillotine. Bonaparte exiled 130 other prominent Jacobian rivals, ridding himself of avowed enemies. The bombing would not cease attempts on his life. Many citizens would later regret the assassination failure once Bonaparte dragged the French military through ceaseless warfare. He would crown himself emperor within three years.